Hello, and welcome to TMC's How To Demo Series for Dynamics 365 Business Central, where we explore the features of Business Central for basic tasks within your organization. If you can't find a demo you're looking for, let us know in the comments below, and we'll try to make it happen. Today, we're going to be going over how to work with customers. In this video, you'll find out how your Dynamics 365 Business Central system can be used for those quick and basic tasks and activities. My name is John Hoyt, Solution Specialist for Technology Management Concepts. Let's get started. In this video, we'll cover how to create a new customer, how to create a new sales invoice for the customer, how to attach a scanned image of their purchase order, and how to email the customer their new invoice. Well, let's see how this works. I'll start by bringing up my Office 365 and then launch into Dynamics 365. For my Dynamics 365 homepage, I'll select the Business Central link. Now to get to the new customers, I can either go to the sales drop-down menu and select customers, or I could use the search function and simply search for customers. But I have a one-click shortcut built on my home page that can take me directly into that customer list. Well, here's all the customers that I have in my system. To add a new customer, just click on the new button in the toolbar. Now I have two templates to allow me to create a customer a little easier, a little faster. I have a business to business template and I have a cash payment customer. In this case, I'll use the business to business customer template. That template will fill in some of the details for me on my new customer record and make sure that I have consistent records for all of my business to business customers. Now the red asterisk indicates a required field. So I can expose the general tab where I need to add in the name of my new customer. For the remainder of the values here at the general tab, I'm not going to make any changes. So I can click on the tab header and close that. I want to add in the address and contact information. You have contact information, so I'll add that in as well. Name of my contact and his email address. We'll need that email address, of course, so that we can send the completed invoice out via email. Again, a red asterisk in the invoicing tab. I need to indicate the tax area. Even though this is not a customer I'll be charging taxes, I do want to group them together. So I'll put them into the Atlanta group. The other details I can either accept as they came over from the template or make individual changes as necessary. So for example, I could change the payment terms. I'm going to hide all these sections. And then to create their new invoice from the customer card, I can simply click on a new document and then build a sales quote or a sales order if appropriate. In this case, we'll go ahead and do the sales invoice. Because I started at the customer record, that information is already included for me when I look over at the general tab for my sales invoice, customer number, name, address, and contact information, etc. What I need to do now is simply select the item that they want. Specify which location I'm going to fulfill their order from, the quantity they wish to purchase, and then I do have a copy of their PO scanned as an image, so I'll go ahead and put that attachment in place. Here's their sample purchase order. 
and then I'll include that. So the invoice is now completed. The PO has been attached for our records internally. What I'm ready to do now is send this out. So I'll post the invoice and I'll email it at the same time. In this case, we want to send it just to the email. So I'll leave all the other options set for no. So as my invoice posts in the background, now we're ready to send out the email. I have the email address for my contact, just like I entered it in the new customer record. I can see a quick preview of the body of the email. I've specified that I'm going to be sending out my attachment as a PDF file to go with that. Let me go ahead and click OK. And we'll send out that email. Now, just to show you what that email looks like, we'll go ahead and open that real quick. You can see the basics of my email document. And that completes the process. Everything I need to do to create a new customer and send them out their first invoice, along with that attachment. So in this video, we created a new customer. We created their first invoice. We attached their PO as a scanned image and then emailed the invoice to them. And that wraps up this video. If you have any questions or would like to make a suggestion on what we should cover in the next video, please comment down below. I'll do my best to answer your comments. And if you need an immediate technical support, I invite you to visit our website, www.abouttmc.com. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.